Page 207. This is the review for this unit, this 207-208. Let's just briefly go over it. I'm not going to cover everything in it. We'll talk about a few things. Depends on how much I'm enjoying doing it. Huh? At the beginning, they want you to write in the minor scale, the name of the scale with these notes. Well, you're starting out with an E and you're ending up with an E. You're probably doing an E scale. The question is, is it E major or E minor? We've been studying minor, so it's probably E minor. But if you play the notes, E minor has one sharp. It's relative to G major, so it's F sharp. And we're doing the harmonic minor, so the seventh step is here. So it's E harmonic minor. Then they want you to write in the fingering for each hand, the right hand above, left hand below. If you've been doing the scales, you should be able to do this in your head. Just just one, two, three, above, okay. Then the second one, you're starting on a B, uh, G, you probably know that's in G minor, you can figure that out. Third one down here, way down here, three ledger lines below the staff is an A. You need to memorize that note. You need to know what it is. It's A minor, okay. And the last one is a C, which is C minor. So the names of the, the key is easy enough because they're giving you the notes. It's the fingering. Make sure you can get the fingering okay. Number two at the bottom is identify the minor key, minor key now, by writing its name on the line above the staff. And then you do the Roman numeral, the number of the chord, below it. Okay. Well, first off, we're in minor. So what minor key has two sharps? I don't know. Well, what major key has two sharps? Well, that's D major. See, I know the majors. I may not know the minors, but I know the majors. And if I know the major, I can figure out the minor real quick. I'm just going to go down a minor third. Or, you know, three half steps. But D major is the major. If I go down here, three half steps, or it's... One, two, three, it's B minor. I go down a minor third. That's the name of the key, it's B minor. Okay, B minor is the key. Now, what is the chord? It's a C sharp here. Well, in B minor, remember B minor has two sharps. Okay, well, that C is the second note, so it's a two chord. And it it's, it's quality or flavors, I call them. Well, it, this is a minor third, and that's a minor third. And when you have two minor thirds, it's a diminished chord. It's a two diminished. So this, the two chord in a minor key is a diminished. A major key it isn't, but a minor key it's a diminished chord. So you just know any two chord in a minor key is going to be a diminished chord automatically, unless it's got accidentals, which changes it. So that first one is a two Little lowercase i i with a little circle for diminished. The next one has three flats. Well, the major key with three flats is E flat major. And it's got three flats. Okay. And then the minor is, is just a minor third under it. So that would be a C. So it's C minor is the key. And the chord they're giving you is it starts on an E flat. Well, an E flat is, is the third step of the scale. So it's a three chord, an I, 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 little lowercase, I, I, I. And then what that's quality or flavor, it's here. Stay within the key, here. So I got a major third and a minor third, and that is a major chord. Well, that makes the three, the I, 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 that makes those capitals, because now it's a major chord. You don't need a capital M for major. You could, it's not necessary. Just the capital I, 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 it's a major chord. That's it. The next one has one flat. Well, one major is uh, F. The, the key, the major key with one flat, I need more coffee here, is F. So if I go down a minor third, it's here. That means the minor key is D minor. So we're in D minor. The, the note, or the chord they're giving us is this one. Well, this note, is one, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth step of the scale, therefore it is a five chord in D minor. And they have a sharp there. Again, a major third and a minor third is a major triad. So this is a five capital letters, a capital V, five. You see, you can figure out the quality without knowing the key. You figure out the quality with it. Just take the next one, for instance, is this. 
So if you just take, that's a minor third, and that's a minor third, so that's a diminished chord. That's the quality. You can figure out the quality just by looking at the notes. But to figure out the chord, now we got to know what the key is, and that's where you go back. One sharp is G major or E minor, and that bottom note in that chord is a D sharp, so it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a seven chord. Yeah, you have fun with those. If you have any questions, ask your teacher. Don't have a teacher, then I guess you can ask me. I'm stuck with it, though. Number three on page 208 or whatever page it's on. They want you to identify the minor key signature by writing the name in the little line they provided. Then they want you to write in the notes on the staff using whole notes. Then they want you to put in the sharps or flats in front of the notes that match the key signature. Normally you wouldn't do that, but we don't have measures. The whole, there's no measures, there's no time signature. So it's like the first ones, when you write any of those notes for the flats, the B flat, the E flat, or the A flat, when you write a, a B, E, A in the whole notes, put a flat sign in front of them. So the first one is, okay, what is the minor scale? Well, three flats for major scale is an E flat major. I know that. I know all the major key signatures because I know the scales. I figure out the minor scale real quick. I go down a minor third. So you A, so it's C minor. We're in C minor. So I'm going to write the C minor scale in whole notes. Now, it doesn't say how many octaves. I guess one octave is good enough. So I'm just going to C to C. I'm, are we using harmonic minor? Are we using natural minor? And they want you to use the harmonic minor, so the seventh step goes up one. So when I get when I get to the E, I'm going to E flat, A flat, but the B natural, you have to put a natural sign in front of it because there's a B flat in the key signature. So to put in the natural sign. Technically, you probably don't because, as I said, we don't have measures. It doesn't apply. Yeah. One flat, or F major, or D minor, and you can, you can do those. Use the harmonic, so you got C sharps. The next one is one sharp. They want bass clef, doesn't matter. One sharp is G major or E minor, and the seventh step is a D, so make sure you put in D sharps. And then the last one is two flat, well, F yeah, B flat or G minor, it's G minor. And then make sure you include the F sharps because it's the seventh step. We're going to raise the seventh step up for harmonic minor. Number four at the bottom. This torture is almost over, it's the last one. Identify each minor key by writing the name above the staff. Then using whole notes, write in the triad, the harmonic minor. The triad to the harmonic minor indicated by the Roman numerals. Okay, well one sharp. So what key is one sharp? It's either G major or E minor, as E is that's a minor third down. E minor, so the name of the key is E minor. And the sixth chord in E minor, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a C chord. So the notes you're gonna do, they want you down here, that's okay bass club. You just put in a C chord. Those notes. That's it. The second one is four flats. Well, four flats, a major would be A flat major. So the minor is a minor third less, so it's F minor. F minor has four flats. Okay, so the name of the key is F minor, and they want the six diminished. The se oh, seventh diminished, I can't count. So the seventh step is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, except we're using harmonic minor, so that would be here. Got to raise the seventh step up. So we build a triad on that, staying within the key. Because those, no those are the notes in the key. It's got four flats. Actually, it should be that. But we're, we're raising the seventh step. And the diminished part, a minor third and minor third, the diminished part happens automatically. It's just, it's here. You can write these notes in bass clef. And you need the natural sign in front of the E because there's a key signature provided and if you don't include the natural then they it would be a B flat technically, or, or an E flat. And that's incorrect. That's not what they want. They want the... So make sure you have an E natural, a natural sign here. 
And you know, throw them all and do the same way. If you have questions, let me know. 